Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy, Tenyoshin1, and today I'm back with yet another tutorial, a photon tutorial. It's been a while. It's been, a, in fact, too long. Um, uh, and, and as usual, I've been busy with stuff, uh, going through a lot of changes in my life, ups and downs. Um, I was hoping that would not, you know, sort of come in the way of, of my tutorials and my, and my YouTube side of things, but I, I guess I was wrong. But anyways, here I am, and uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to... I'm gonna, Get away with the small talk, whatever. I don't even know what that means, but so today we're going to be covering something called an RPC. It's called a remote procedural call. Basically, what it is, uh, I'm going to go a bit fast to today, and I'm not going to cover the same things over again. But basically, what it is is it means calling a method on another computer remotely. So basically, in terms of photon, what you're doing is you are going to be calling a method. So, for example, you wanna you know when I apply you wanna apply damage, you wanna send damage to a player, another player over the over the network. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna call that apply damage method locally, sorry, remotely on that player's computer, and that's gonna cause his health to drop. So, the way the the way health works, you remember how we sync the health through the on photon serialized view. Uh, basically, what that does it, it is is it's sending the data. And it's syncing it, so it's sending the data on our side. So we ourselves are sending our own data, and it's just syncing uh, our, our data for a local copy on the other player's side. So only if we make changes to our health would that health actually update on the other player's side. So for that, we need to remotely call an apply method, uh, apply damage method, on our side. So. I hope that makes sense. So we need to call, remotely call it on the other player's side, and that person calls it for himself only, and that reduces his health, and then it's it's just synced through the on photon serialized method, serialized view method. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Anyways, without any further ado, let's get started, shall we? Right, so um, you might notice some sort of like microphone changes and stuff. My microphone is hopefully not too low, like you know, in terms of audio and stuff. I feel like it is, but if it is, do let me know, please. Uh, I'm trying my best for it to sound not too terrible. Anyways, um, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna jump right into Unity, and uh, here you might see I've made some changes to the scene. Uh, the only thing I've really done is is uh, I've got like uh, I've I've, I've baked some lighting stuff. I hope you guys are not too too terrified. It's, it's just visual changes. Let me know if you guys are interested. It's, it's really not much though, but you know, it's like a little bit of fog there. It gives it that nice sort of atmospheric effect. Um, uh, some some light bakes, some light bounces. It's in fact a bit too exaggerated just to show the effect, but yeah. Anyways, uh, so what we need to do is, uh, is we need to sort of apply damage to another player. The way we did that in the previous tutorials, which was in the FPS ones, was that we send it damage. We we basically cast a ray, and that ray hits the the player, or the player or the object, or the object, and it just destroys it. It just like deducts its health and stuff. Uh, for that, you might want to check out my um, destroying, damaging, and destroying objects tutorial and my um, ray cast shooting tutorials. So those are both tutor tutorials you might want to check out. Um, but Today we're just gonna cover that. We're just gonna like walk over that real quick, uh, and we're just gonna, mainly gonna focus on RPCs. So let's go ahead and let's actually create a new script, which we're gonna call um, Network Shooting. So basically, this this script is uh, so we're just gonna jump right into coding. So this script is basically uh, gonna allow us to, as you know, shoot. Uh, so we're gonna be shooting to the player, and uh, and and he's gonna be receiving damage. So the way it would go is we will have a private transform shoot point uh, you know initially the way we did it before and the way we're gonna do it is by default we don't actually we don't actually need to define the shoot point we're just gonna set it to uh, or actually you know what we'll, we'll just we'll just define it actually never mind serialize field so um, yeah we'll just define it sure so we have a shoot point, and the shoot point in this case is just going to be our camera because you know we don't really have a weapon or anything. We don't really care about that. We don't, we don't, we don't care about the visuals at this point. We just care about the the program. Uh, and we're just going to like like uh, <clears throat> sorry, oh, what was that? Okay, so we're just going to squeeze everything inside of this piece of code. Uh, so 
the way we just do it is we would just check for input. So if you press the left mouse button, which is fire one, then we are just gonna essentially play execute a method. And uh, this method in our case is just fire, or it could be you can call it shoot. So we're just gonna execute the method fire. And the fire method is essentially just going to be, it's, it's just going to be called once. We're just going to make it get buttoned down so we're not getting into the details of all the the uh, fire rate or, or and stuff like that. So yeah, so it's only going to happen if we press it once. So here we're going to cast a ray. So we're going to say physics dot uh, uh, ray cast. And we're going to start from the shoot point dot position. And we're gonna cast a ray forward uh, in in the shoot point's direction, so the forward as in where the camera is looking, so away from the camera, and uh, and that's about it. And and we just have like a like a ray cast hit to return the hit objects or whatever we hit. It's just gonna store that inside of the hit part, and that's it. So that's basically what we have. Um, we don't really have any limits here. We don't have anything at all. Uh, so what we're doing is we're shooting when we press the left mouse button, and we are casting a ray outside out, out from the camera. Um, so just casting it straight and once we do so we need to do something so normally what we do is we deduct damage from something uh, in this case in the player network script if you go back to it uh, you have something called player health uh, player health was initially we were like deducting damage by pressing a button we were deducting our own health uh, we do not want that anymore so I'm just gonna comment that out for now uh, what we're gonna do instead we're gonna create a method uh, and it's gonna be we're gonna call it a public void apply damage and I'm gonna give it a float called damage. So, and this method itself is is essentially gonna. So we're just gonna deduct the damage from the hell. That's 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 all it it, it just does. Uh, also, what am I? Oh yeah, sorry. It's gonna be integer. There we go. So, this is this is just gonna deduct health. Um, now here's the catch. So for any method which you want to be like called remotely, what you have to do is you have to give it something called uh, a, a tag of of pun RPC. Uh, which is Photon Unity Networking uh, Remote Procedural Call or RPC. Um, and that's it. You can see it just gives you use to flag methods as, as remote. Remote. I, I can't read the, the, the word there, so I'm not even going to try. But um, yeah, so that's that. Um, and the, on the, the only way we can do this is we say, hey, um, so we're going we're gonna to actually check for two things because in this case we can hit everything and that's going to be problematic. So we're going to check for, we're going to say, hey, if the hit dot game object dot transform dot uh, compare tag so if what we hit is it has a tag called the player only then we're gonna check for this so hey we have we, we hit something the the hit object has a tag called the player or is it you know I'm sure you guys are aware of the tagging system but yeah uh, if it does then we're gonna say okay well does that object have a photon view so we're gonna say hey if hit dot uh, transform dot get component. I know there's a lot of checks. We probably should move them to a different thing, but yeah. So if we if we get a component called photon view, that I, if I th if the player actually has a photon view, we're gonna essentially say uh, actually we're gonna store these the, the photon view in something. So we're gonna say uh, um, sorry uh, photon view p view equals hit dot transform dot get component. <sighs> Why does that not does that? I'm sorry. Photon view. There we go. So we're gonna store it here. We're gonna say, okay, well, if if this actually exists, this 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 basically is a is a is a boolean statement. Just says, hey, is the p is p view not null? If it's not null, then hey, then then there we go. We're just gonna execute the code afterwards. Um, so it's not null. We're gonna say p view dot um, rpc. So we're actually going to call a remote procedural method. So here's how it goes. Uh, as you can see, we have a method name. The method name in our case was apply damage. I uh, think like, th sorry, like that. Why, why did I add a space there? Uh, the player target. So, so the target actually, the way RPCs work, you have multiple targets. So you can send an RPC to everyone in the in the in the, in the room. So basically, it will be up, uh, updated for everyone. Everyone will call this local method on that particular player, uh, the damage method. Uh, and that player itself himself will also call or itself also to say will also call the method of itself so and then we have all buffered buffered what this is is basically um whenever a method is called for players who join later in the game they also receive this update so they're also going to like call this method after joining the game uh so for example for changes like uh like if you have a capture the flag game and someone captured the flag and you're not syncing it through the photon serialized view you can just call uh, a buffered um, rpc 
and that's basically gonna, like allow the player to receive that flag update even after they like even after the game's fi finished or like like after they've joined like mid game or something for example and then we have all via server for things like when you're picking something up and you don't want it to you don't want like things to like get out of sync so you want them to only be handled via server so you just go like hey uh, send this thing to the server check if two players are overlapping one object they're picking try to both of them are trying to pick it up and then we're gonna see hey did this this player tried like a millisecond before him or received the, the message me, me, message like a millisecond before from him and he's just gonna pick that up uh, because it's called through the server the server's gonna decide who's who's the rightful owner of this and that whatever so and then we have master client, which is the one who's actually actually hosting the room. This is not the server, mind you. There's a server, but um, but like again, this this is not uh, Photon is not server authorized or whatever. It's, it, it doesn't care about that. It just cares about it to some extent. Others is anyone other than ourselves. So everyone else is going to receive this, but we're not going to care about it. So in this case, we're just going to go with all. I uh, probably should not have. I don't know. Should I have explained that? I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. Um, so we're, we're sending it to everyone, and now here is where we actually input the parameters. In case, in this case, we are, we're applying damage. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna create a new parameter here, and I'm gonna call this uh, um, int damage. And this is just gonna be like uh, 10 or 25 by default. Let's go with that. And there we go. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna send the damage method there. So what we're doing, we're calling an RPC on whatever. The, uh, so we hit the player. We hit something call uh, with with attack player. I'm gonna see, hey, does that object has a photon view? If it does, it, every 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 object on which you're gonna call an RPC requires a photon view. Do keep that in mind. There are other ways to call uh, remote uh, methods. Uh, it's called like events and stuff. I I kind of forgot what it's called actually, but it's it's different. It's like sending bytes and sending messages. Uh, and you don't need a photon view for that, but that's an entirely different thing, and we'll we'll look into that at some point later. Uh, so we're going to be checking. Hey, the, the, this, does that the object which we hit have? Uh, so we're just attempting to get the photon view from that object. If if, if it doesn't have that, it's it's going to skip the statement. And this is going to happen. But if it does have that, it's going to try to call an RPC on it, which is this thing. And we we also have it marked as a as a pun RPC. Without this, RPCs won't work. So you need that, uh, and then and then basically it's just going to apply damage. It's going to just going to detect our health. Uh, this only is going to be called locally, and we're just we're just syncing our health afterwards. So for players who might join later on, the health is being synced and stuff. Everything is all right. So if our health is 80, the other player's health is 80 for us. The player who joined, he also he also reset the data, and he will also know that hey, uh, that player's health is 80. Also, maybe I should start stop trying to talk so fast. I'm going too fast. Am I? I'm going to fast. It's been a while. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> right there we go. So where uh, that, that's that's what we have here. We're gonna just drag and drop our player here. Um, we're gonna get him there, and we are gonna go ahead and apply the network shooting script onto him. And the shoot point is gonna be um, our. Uh, actually, wait, no. We're gonna apply that to the main main thing here. There we go, and we are gonna do that, and we're also gonna add this the script to this uh, the player control script. So basically, the shoot point we're setting is the camera. The first person character is the camera, and the player control script is basically what is gonna be disabled for the player. So this is like local. So these scripts are local. The script is local as well. Uh, it doesn't have to be enabled on the other player side. This is just uh, our script. This is just we us doing the thing and stuff. Um, and and yeah, that's about it. So we can go ahead. We can give it a try. Let's let's go ahead and apply the game object and save. And let's go ahead and see if, we can, if I can actually build it. Can I actually build it? Build and run. Oof. All right. Let's let's do that. Wait. So before we do this, we're gonna basically go ahead and we're gonna say uh, if the player health is less than equal to uh, zero, then we're just gonna like debug uh, dot log. Uh, yeah. We're gonna say transform.name plus died or something like that, you know? So we just know, hey, this person just died. Whether whether it's ourselves or the other person, right? Whatever. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So uh, let's go ahead. And we also need to make sure that we actually tag our, our, our character here uh, as player. Because otherwise it's not gonna work. So we need to make sure we just call it player. So let's go ahead and build the game now. All right, so um, let's see uh, how this goes. We're just gonna get that going here. Doesn't really matter. It's windowed. Boom. Probably should have like made it smaller, but whatever. Uh, we're gonna see. So right. I hope. I hope we all. Yeah, we both join the same thing. Oh God, that is loud. Let me just turn that down. <laughs> um. So yeah. So we're gonna see if I try to shoot him. I don't even know if it's working, but I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna like spam the button. Is it working? 
I don't see anything in the in the in the console. Oh, it's it's doing it. See, player player died. <laughs> He's died too fast. He, he died way too fast. In fact, um, but oh 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 goodness, what have I done? Wait, what? Um, don't mind me. I I don't know where my mouse is at this point. I I feel like an old man right now, even though I'm not. I hope not. My old. Man. Uh, okay. That's 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 um. It's terrible. Let's never do that ever again. Okay, so let's just put that here, and uh, or let's just put it like a, like a little bit higher, so we can see what's going on. So let's see if I try to hit the other player. So I'm gonna I'm gonna like join the game, and we're gonna try to hit the other player. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. So four was like, uh, I think four should be like uh, zero though. But okay. Um, yeah, so that's it. So the player just died. We just click it again. Just it just keeps dying for no reason because you know he's dead already. And then we have ourselves. Uh, we can we can hit the other player there. Yeah, there we go. He died as well. Just keeps dying. So so there, we have two two different log messages, which are telling us that we're dying, or we're dead. So basically, that means that remote procedural call, uh, remote procedural calls are actually working online, and and we're receiving. We're not receiving any errors or anything so far. If I try to hit the ground, nothing happens. You see, because because this statement is just cutting it out. This statement is just cutting it out. It's ignoring it. If you were to not put this statement, uh, it would still work because we're like looking for the photon view. But if there was an object in the scene which had a photon view. And did not had a method or a script with the method uh, apply damage, then it would just constantly throw errors in the console. So be aware of that. Uh, I feel like I should also mention more debugging techniques for you guys because uh, I've not been doing that. I've not been teaching you guys any of the debugging techniques or any of the uh, sort of uh, scripting techniques which might help you go far in life. I think, yeah, but that's very far fetched though. But you know. You get my idea. So, anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's basically it. That, that was that, today's tutorial was short, right, guys? I tried my best. Okay, I was fast as, you know, yeah. So I tried my best uh, to go fast. I don't know if I should have. I feel like I was going too fast, and I was just like, I was just my, my words were like on top of each other. They were just overlapping. It was terrible. I could go faster, but. I don't know if I should because I want to. I want to explain everything. So if I if I don't go fast, please guys be like bear with me, right? I I yeah. So if you guys enjoyed, uh, let me know if you guys wanna uh, want more tutorials. Maybe something like more interesting. I was thinking of uh, sort of going with a different approach with the FP tutorials as well, like uh, a more decoupled approach, a more um, uh, game mindset approach for like a bigger game. Because like when you're making something, you need to have a approach in your mind. For example. Um, like, you know, like if you're if you're gonna build on top of of my tutorial series and the FPS one, it's gonna work for small projects. For bigger projects, it's gonna give you a hard time debugging and and adding features into your game. So be aware of that. Uh, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and uh, good to be back. It, it is actually good to be back. I might start work making videos in the weekends because I actually have a decent amount of time on the weekends. So, yeah. Um, so uh, have a good one, guys. Um, it was nice being back and. Uh, Maybe I could do some like nice ASMR these days because like you know, I, have a, I have a better microphone and I don't think anyone wants to hear this. But have a good one. I, I'm just I just really like doing. It. <laughs> See you later. Peace out. <laughs>